Today we celebrate the scholastic achievements of our graduates. The occasion also provides an opportunity to recognize excellence in teaching. I would like to call upon Professor Babas Papacristo, Associate Professor of Statistics, to join me at the podium as this year's recipient of the Limbach Award. The Lindbach Foundation sponsors an annual faculty award for distinguished teaching. Faculty members considered for the award are nominated by students, and the nominations are reviewed by a committee of both students and faculty. Nomination for this award by students is a tribute to the professionalism, knowledge, enthusiasm, and teaching skills of the faculty nominees, as well as to the mutual respect that exists between the students and the faculty. Dr. Papakristu, this year's recipient of the award, has been a central figure in our Department of Mathematics, Physics, and Statistics. His students in his statistics classes have attested not just to the quality of his teaching, but also to how much he cares about their learning and well-being. In the letters that students wrote to nominate him for this award, his teaching qualities were repeated over and over again. He challenges students but gives them all the additional help they need. He is engaging, dynamic, and funny in the classroom. He always seeks feedback to make the course he teaches better, and he genuinely cares about his students as people. Babis, it is my pleasure to present you with the Limbach Award. I can think of nothing more gratifying for a teacher than to have his endeavors recognized and acclaimed by his students and colleagues. Congratulations on this well-deserved honor and I invite you to say a few words to all of us. Wow, it's kind of scary seeing all of you around here, so I'm kind of shaking and I'm supposed to give you an inspirational speech, but I, all I can think of is that it's gonna be perspirational, I'm sweating like a pig right now. <laughs> So be kind to me, so I'm gonna try to be quick because I know most of you wanna get out of here, go and have fun with mommy and daddy and just friends and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna try just to keep it quick. Uh, so when I found out that I had to give a speech, today I did what everybody else do. I asked my best friend, Google. So I Googled out, I saw so many beautiful speeches and halfway through reading all of them, I got so bored and I was like, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so. I decided that it must be something really s short and sweet, and so I'm not going to keep you long. So I want to just thank you, all of you who are here, just to witness these wonderful students just basically succeeding in their life. So uh, Madam President, deans, colleagues, students, parents, everybody, it's my, I'm so excited to be here. So, and I would like to basically get some business done, so I would like to start thanking the Lindbach Foundation, uh, the university committee who selected me, and of course the students who nominated me. It is an exceptional honor to have been selected for this prestigious award from among many deserving and excellent teachers that this university has. It's truly an honor to be nominated and actually beat those people because they're really good. So <laughs> it is profoundly moving and humbling to be recognized for something that I truly love and that stage. So it's really an amazing uh, award for me, especially because I really love this job that I'm doing. So of course this award, I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth, so I knew how to teach and all that stuff. So there were a lot of people in my life who contributed and brought me to this level. And I would like to thank all of them. So I want to thank them for the support, inspiration that I have received from them throughout my whole life. First of all, I would like to thank my big fat Greek family. So they are <laughs> insane, but I love them and they always push me to my limits. So thank you very much for being there for me. Thank you. I also want to thank my tremendous and extraordinary friends that have been there every step of the way in my life to guard me and help me and support me, pick up the pieces and pick, put me back in order and to criticize me eventually and sometimes win some arguments, sometimes. Okay, so I love them and they are really my safety net. Um, I would like to also thank my 
teachers, several of my teachers that inspired me to be here today, that they basically showed me how it is to be passionate about teaching, and I followed their steps. And this award is a tribute to those teachers who actually marked or scarred my life, whichever you prefer. <laughs> so naturally, I cannot forget all of my colleagues here at this university that they embraced me and they helped me. They gave me teaching tips. They gave me uh, leeway every time I tried something wacky in the class. So thank you very much for just basically allowing me to be myself. Uh, lastly, but certainly not the least, I'm extremely indebted to the people who have inspired me every semester to put forth my best effort. You, my own students. Uh, time after time, you have stunned me with your effort, determination, work ethics, and life stories. From the first day I joined this university six years ago, you have demonstrated so much care, and you have surrounded me with so much love that it's truly moving. Without your support, appreciation, especially your feedback, and your laugh with my bad jokes, during the, and at the end of the semester, I would have never been able to become the teacher or the person that I am today. It is through your honest and constructive criticism that I was able to improve my teaching skills. I have so enjoyed our journey together, and I'm proud to be here today to celebrate your success. Congratulations on making it to the finish line. Good luck to the new journey you start. And please remember to write or stop by to see us. We will really be happy to see you. So with that, live long and prosper. And thank you. Wouldn't you take a course from him? <laughs>